In the last week alone, Mantra Finance went up by almost 100%. And where did you hear first about the OM token? Of course, here on this channel. Because now the price is at 29 cents. But just nine days ago, it was at 18 cents roughly. So if you want to be early next time and you don't want to miss out, maybe consider following channels like this. Now, initially, not a lot of people were interested in the video. It was an average performing video, but then came the rally. That's when the video performance here in blue did roughly double as good as your average video here in gray. Now, I like to look at data that most people are not looking at. And in the prior video, we already talked about fundamentals. We already talked about tokenomics. We talked about the team. We talked about the platform. In this video, we're going to look at data again that most people don't look at. And that's because most people can't look at the data because it's a tool that I've developed myself for the premium members. It segregates the number of retail investors versus whale investors. So we can know who is buying here. Is this retail or is this the whales? And on the left side, we've got the number of wallets that hold at least a thousand mantra tokens. So at the current price, that's $290. And this is a very long-term chart starting in January of 2021. In the middle, we've got the medium-sized retail. So it's a 10X from the left chart. That's now $2,900 worth of the token. And on the right side, we've got the whales. That's now at least $29,000 worth of the token or 100,000 tokens. Now those are long-term charts, but we are interested in why the price went up, say, in the last month. An increase of more than 300%. Who bought in the last month? Let's have a look at the same kind of charts, but only at the last month. The number of whales did not increase. The number of medium-sized retail investors also rather went down. And the number of retail investors barely went up by 2.7% only. So that's interesting, isn't it? On chain, when we look at the blockchain, we cannot see how whales are buying. We cannot see how medium-sized retail is buying. We can only see how small retail is buying, but only very, very minutely by 2.7%. That's how much the number of retail investors increased. And this cannot explain a rally like this. So it appears obvious that this is not a broadly driven rally by a lot of people. It seems to be a rally that's driven by a few key players with a lot of capital. This might not be the whales, this might be the mega whales. And to be more precise, centralized exchanges. Let's have a look at centralized exchange balances. So here's the top 100 holders as a pie chart and let's have a look at those largest wallets. Let's go through them one by one. We see a few smart contract based wallets. But we also see a wallet here by Binance, another one by Binance, a third one by Binance. Let's check out the top 10 holders. Here is the largest current holder. It's accumulating massively. It's got now 100 million tokens. And note how we defined our whales here, right? This was only 100,000 tokens. And there's only 141 such wallets. This largest wallet accumulated 100 million. Most of it, of course, in the last days. Isn't that interesting? This wallet belongs to the DAO, to Mantra DAO. So maybe Mantra is doing some kind of buyback scheme here. Here's the next wallet. Also went slightly down in the last month, but not that much. It's also a Mantra DAO wallet. Here we've got a massive spike. This is the Polygon bridge. So that doesn't have any impact on the price, right? It's simply just tokens being bridged from Ethereum to Polygon to make the token more accessible to regular retail that doesn't want to pay the Ethereum gas fees. Another Mantra DAO wallet, slightly decreasing in balance. But note, there isn't that much left anymore. That selling pressure will stop at some point. Another Binance wallet, this went up by 40 million. It's a wallet holding 2 billion worth of tokens. And the last two wallets didn't have too much of an impact. So how can we summarize this? It seems like there's accumulation by Binance and by the Mantra DAO. It looks like there is some kind of buyback scheme. It looks like the supply gets squeezed somewhat. And that's what's causing this rally. It's not so much attention by retail or by the whales. The whales even tend to sell. But the tokenomics seem to be pretty sound creating this rally. Now there is a bit of a caveat here. And again, that's all of this ownership by Binance. When Binance holds a lot of tokens, they tend to manipulate the price, especially if there are perpetual futures. Let's have a look if that's true for Mantra. So what we've got behind me is the spot market. And yes, most tokens change hands directly on Binance. Here's the potential problem though. This is the perpetual futures market. And again, Binance is leading the pack here. So Binance can push the price up or down because they own so much. At the same time, they offer bets on that price. So a very rigged game. 
That being said, a lot of tokens are now going to the Mantra DAO very consistently. And so I will put a link down below. Feel free to monitor this graph very closely. If this continues to accumulate, if this continues to go up, then the price is very likely going to continue to rise. In case this will stop, however, that would not be too great. Again, a link to that is down below. What's also down below is a link to premium. That's where you can get access to this tool here. If you want, you can also join our Telegram group. Again, link down below. See you over there. Cheers.